starting it out on the defensive side, and look at the amount of utility currently inside of who can Maxwell. Maxwell goes down to his teammate's nade, a shock dart to Athena, lighting him up. He is so low, and the blast pack takes him down. It's all about the raise utility on this G2 attack, and they've managed to get the man advantage, but they're not happy with just one. They pursue 5k, and they'll get a clean plant out of this. Yeah, it's a shame he didn't get one with the boom bot as well. Then he would have had the full trifecta oh, yeah. of kills every single one. Holy Trinity. Uh, yeah, the, yeah the, the Holy Trinity. Let's bring that back. Something we definitely need to be heard. But only two players remaining. Trying to make their way. Mokes do give them an opportunity. Some but towards the back side. Um, Kellogg's is taken down. This is a good start, but time is going to start to be a big issue. There's so many angles that they have to clear out. They're going to try to use their smoke to allow them onto the site. Nice kill by Esperanza, tapping the spike. They now have to challenge for this, not knowing if it's being defused. Zumba waiting for them to get close, but Evova hits the shot. A valiant able to deliver in the grand scheme of things. Now, though, they're looking to find a strong round. Weapons in their hands over on the F4Q side. And for G2, they're still on the Spectres. They're going to try to close in the distance. Duke is already on the site. He couldn't even see him, and he's managed to find a double kill. Athena doing his best to try and pull this back, but with a retrieved Phantom, Nukia shuts him down as well. Now the site is there for G2. They've picked up Phantoms, and it's an even retake. In fact, it's in their favor because someone's playing with the Judge. Yeah, again, he's, he's got himself a shotgun on a retake. Definitely not the ideal weapon, and I think he's going to have to hope that Esperanza can find him a little bit of space. Are they going to try and sneak their way through? You can see that he's a little bit wary from the side of G2, trying to look behind, see to check if they're being flanked on, and instead, Mixwell is just going to try and get himself a plant on the other side. But Zumba has already made his way through. Oh, and that wall's going to allow him to get nice and close with the judge. He's coming on through, oh! and Mixwell is too quick, shutting him down go back. and taking the TP <laughs> to B. He's going to get the plant out of this, and with 47 health left, this isn't an ideal situation, but if he can get the jump on the other side, it, this this could work out. Yeah, Esperanza actually hesitated. I think he thought he was going to go through the teleporter again. He didn't want to get fooled with a plant on the other side of the map, but just going to play this close angle, trying to use the poison orb to his advantage. It's patient Poison's for Esperanza, though. He's got plenty of time to make his move. Doesn't want to risk pushing through any of that utility. And he's going to get a jump on him, but it's Esperanza with the extra HP. Who would real aggressive position? And because the Seeker's been popped by Kellogg's, it's going to give them that information. They can take a little bit of control. Esperanza, he's landing the tags, but it's being dodged, baited out. And this close position of Zumba could actually do quite a lot, but they're actually going to force him back a little bit. Oh, the judge is just running right in, and a double kill for Zumba. Kellogg's luckily pulling it back. The timing perfect on that flash around the corner, and G2 won't lose hope just yet. The plant can go down on the site, and especially now with Kellogg's taking a third. Left. Advanced positions coming out of Avova. And this is now a really tough retake for F4Q because Bunny still has, oh, well, he no. had Spike that judge to work eight. with, upgraded to a bulldog. Go, good kill for Avina, but he has no idea that Avova's up close. How is that turret not tagging him? This could be huge for Avova. The lockdown now destroyed. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left. left. They need to plant the spike. And as Avova goes down, that becomes so difficult. F4Q just need to get on to Mixwell before he plants this in. The blast pack play out of Bunny with 50 health. He is so close to being taken down and through the smoke Athena they are however incredibly close to a lot of ultimates mm -hmm. I am I'm, I'm worried to see that showstopper come through in in a matter of seconds I would assume that's where they're gonna be on Kellogg's also got three kills in the last round so he's always got his seekers again Nuki though well I guess he doesn't need to go and get the orb he's already managed to find himself the opener the nade will push bunny out the back of the site he does well to at least stay alive a little bit longer and he actually gets what? a kill with the blast pack just throwing it through however again the trades have come back and more importantly, the Viper's Pit is in play. Yeah, this is tough for Esperanza. Not an ideal fight. Mixwell about to drop shot Zumba to close out the round. G2 on the one hole in the defense of F4Q. Yeah, they, they went for this almost aggressive pincer going down both sides of mid and there's no one there. And unfortunately, the weapons that they have are not really going to play too much of a part in this round, I'd assume. Nukia in a pretty good space. Actually, he uses Showstopper. Okay, oh, I mean, that's a bit of a surprise. You're gonna have smiles on your faces if you're F4Q now. They just used a showstopper versus, I think it killed a shorty. So, yeah. hey, I'll take that trade any day of the week. And committing that much and already losing one player, I could have gotten a little bit worse. But luckily, it is only Kellogg's stuff. He's being healed up now. Zumba 
Not quite in the same boat. He'll get a little bit of heals because they're going to have to rotate over to the A side. That's where G2 are pushing in right now. Nukia seizing all the control yet again. And we've seen Zumba try to hold this position with a judge. This time he rotates over to play Hookah. And that's when Nukia comes and would have fallen right into his trap. Instead, he's picking up a third kill and dominating the A side. I mean, F4Q again facing into a judge retake. And the judge only has 11 HP. One enemy remaining. Oh, it's just gonna be too easy. It's a round and a half from Nuke here. A prime gaming flawless. He's almost got his- Was one away from ultimate, so he wanted to go take a fight or die. No, he gave a rifle away. Let's uh, let's not have that. Nade out a bunny gets a kill. That, that might be the first kill I've seen over to- Like that deep in fountain with a nade at the start of the round. Mm. You never see that. The other thing to add as well is they won this map last time. It's the one map that 5k finished top. So the fact that he's had such a rough start is a really, really bad sign for F4Q on their map choice. And, well, we all saw how Ascent went last time. 7-2, to two, an even trade to start. And already Cold Ament is looking to try and clear out some of these actions. He's still got that Odin. Yeah, oh, you're dead. You are so dead. Still standing there up against Cold Ament as Odin? Are you crazy? He's going to be able to take a second kill in this round, get the plant in, and strides towards that Hunter's Fury. It's already a 7-2 to two scoreline. F4Q really need this round, and they've done damage. Nukia and Cordamenta both going to be hit down by set, down to 70 HP. If F4Q can find a pick, they can commit to this. He got shot through the wall. He, he's on 10 HP. He was very nearly dead to turn that back. The peek out from Mixor, though, is going to drop another. Now the afterplant still comes down to a possible scenario. Two players relatively low, or I guess one incredibly low. And the peak looking to come back through. The shock dart just inches away. The peak, a single bullet through the wall would do it. And Avina, he's trying his best here as they do manage to drop one more. The problem is now though, they just don't have the time. And Nukia, he's just going to throw in the ultimate just to make sure yep. that no one could get anywhere near that spike. Better safe than sorry. I agree with that ult. You said he was like, oh, I'm going to try push him. <laughs> Didn't work out. 8-2. to two. It is looking like a very, very different match. Athena, though, he's been the one saving crazy oh, so money! Damn, I love watching this guy play. It's been a little bit quieter for him this time, but these are the sort of frustrating kills he can pull out. They've got to be careful, though. Esperanza is being wrapped on. Avova already managing to find a kill and get himself around the edge of the ultimate. It's not oh, going to catch right. him here. Look at that. That's, that's it done, surely. Look at the HP left on Bunny. They're actually going to full wrap to the A site, sending it around to meet up with Coldamenta, who's on his way through Bath. Now, the only danger man here is 5k, and we've seen him have a couple of shaky rounds, but he's here in the steps. He knows they're up close. Vandal in hand. Evolva's going to clear him out. No! He's going to go for the plant in the open, and that's an easy kill for 5k. His teammates coming in to help. A flash still online. He will be revealed, but he backs out. Here's the flash around the corner, countering it out, but he's blinded up fully, and Kellogg's was able to turn away. Money up close. He can get in on them. Right behind on the TP. Tracing them. Just about surviving in the corner. Oh, Cold Amanda just needs one bullet through that wall. And it would be a free kill. He has no idea how close he was to taking Bunny down. Yeah, the time is ticking now. 12 seconds left on the clock. He's surrounded by both angles. He's going to at least deny the little utility that is left, but the clock is playing against him at this stage, and while well, it doesn't even matter. He can get the kill, though! He's so low! Oh, bang! No! Oh. He's not going to predict. Hit the final round anyway, so it doesn't really matter. They'd already won the round. But he's running into a judge. If Bunny can manage to find this kill, the timing plays completely against him. Trapped on the side, he didn't know if they could come up behind. And now they're in a lot of trouble because Mixwell pops the Viper's Pit and he's going to use the judge inside of it. This is going to be a really tough position to try to fight back into. That flash doesn't even reveal him, and he's now just sat up close. One of the rattiest plays you can possibly make. The Hunter's Fury not going to connect on him on the first two. He's all good. Teammate not tagging him up, because we've seen a couple yeah. of little, little, little whiff utility pieces before. I mean, this is the last round. They have to go for it, but they can't even go through spawn right now. With shock darts and snake bites holding them down in the Viper's Pit, they're pulling in through heaven with four, with three players, excuse me. And Athena is going to try to clear out that Viper's Pit, but he's dealt with right away. Mix 12 for three, and the classic out to try and get the fourth of Ova, stealing it. They're kind of running out of information in this late stage. F4Q could be literally anywhere, and they're now going to deploy a very valuable pistol piece of utility that could shut down by a shock dart. 
four on the credits for that drone, and it gets them nothing. And then Bunny goes down. They're naded out, so they can't even get seconds. that push in. And now they're going to run into a heavy stack as the rest of G2 start Whoa. to rotate. This is so well controlled out of the G2 side, and they get a... Yep. Yeah, luckily, uh, the, uh, below the belt is not on camera anymore, so... Yep, you got your Hobbit feet out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Hobbit. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> We're only on 12 HP and yeah, he's gonna continue the push, but he is caught by Esperanza. The default of FLQ Ugh. working at least for the moment, but they're being caught by more and more players. They're still just battling into mid. Unfortunately now, there's only one man left of over, and he's not in the best of spots. Well, Mixwell's coming in to help him though, in through the spawn with the Spectre in hand. It's not really a great crossfire though, they're gonna have to play their own lives. Shock, or sorry, not Shock Dart, Snake Bite coming through, but they don't mind. They'll tank it up. Mixwell, good for one. There's a weapon to be retrieved. The second kill! Oh. A bomb has come out of bath, and Esperanza has to clutch a 1v2. This should have been at 4 q so easily, and in the end, they get slapped in a 2v4. Not cell phone token. s 4 through the TC. has come in. Double TP push. Mixwell trading out his teammate. And F4Q, man disadvantage, weaponry disadvantage by quite a bit. No ulties online, and Mixwell even has Viper's Pit. That's going to be deployed towards Bath. They're losing oh, every no. single lane duel. That's going to be one of the better weapons gone for F4Q. Picked back up by Bunny, though. He's managed to find himself a Vandal. Let's see if he can do something with it. This has to be a godlike round from him, or we're looking at map two. We're looking at map two. 4Q, they didn't do particularly well on Ascent. 5k, he's had a real what so ever. He does have the, the, the second You might kill. be in your words, Tom. I mean, Nuke is pretty low Come HP Come on, how much there. can I curse G2? <laughs> there is absolutely no way that 5k win this round. Not a chance in hell. In fact, I would be completely gobsmacked oh. if he wins it. And, um, the fact that we've got 5k switching over to the sky, I'll be honest, his Rainer, I, I think he's played two maps. And we are, Tom, but as we look towards this push, G2 are actually getting shut down to start with Mixwell falling. Flash is going to be far removed from the rest of the round, but so are a lot of the F4Q players with the man advantage sitting in their favor. Nukia is just sitting all the way back inside of B main, letting them walk through to try to take the fight. And interestingly, you know, he walked up, he walled off spawn, and then he runs right back to cover this flank and play what is a, a very nice reaction play off Cold Immense's contact. Well, for now, at least, they're having to take at least a little bit of the time to just try and break through the wall. They have managed to smoke off Nuki, but the fact is, he's still just going to be waiting on the edge. You can hear the footsteps, and a lot of time has gone. Cold is going to fall, and now his teammates are actually getting pinched. He needs to come in on the flank, almost baiting his team a little bit here. Nuki maybe can win the round. I don't think they'll mind. He's going to stop them defusing the spike, and I think the time's too far gone. It's going to be incredibly close with the defuse, but they haven't got it. It's not happening this time. The Zion, he's leading the charge. He's already in on site B. And I don't even know if they realized it, but Esperanza, oh, it's a oh! whip! He does manage to get away with the kill, and he picked the wrong angle! I think they thought he was in the corner. That's a huge mistake from G2. Cold Dementor at least puts one in the dirt, but with the flank coming through fast, the spike at least on the site, but the second they attempt to plant, they know they're going to go down. So Kellogg's just attempting to do as much damage as possible, and Cold Dementor, hey, he's made it costly. Can he do anything more? No. Still, three kills, fantastic for G2. For G2. Let's see what they can find. Athena has been absolutely huge for this team, but Cold Dementa shuts him down. Kellogg's caught on the dash over, but oh, traded wait, out immediately. And this is again textbook Valorant coming out of G2. F4Q having all the weapons they could possibly want, and well, they only get the one kill for it, and that was on to have Kellogg's, who will just go walking through, and oh, it's actually a bit of an awkward battle. He's gonna get, or well, he's gonna lose that opening duel. Yeah, this was the. A little bit of a, a lurk play. The problem is that Nukia can get the res in if oh, they gain control uh, over the site. Uh, Zumba in with a double, but with Kellogg's brought back online, they're not that far behind on the G2 side. The problem is they have to split in through middle. They've got to meet up as a three-man and then deal with these side players. But F4Q are bunkered down and taking the fight beautifully. Esperanza pretty much guaranteeing them this round and their retreat. I know the round was so, sort of convincing, so it seems odd, but it's in the setup and it's in the fact that there was such a small crack there to be exploited, and this is the problem. Now that 5k is down, you've just got a completely isolated Zumba, but G2 aren't even oh. looking to go towards the B site. Athena finds that out by taking down Kellogg's on short. 
Yeah, good couple of kills. They managed to catch the available for F4Q. This is going to be a really tough take, and they actually don't expect Esperanza to be here. Mixor with a flash in hand is fallen flat for G2. This looking like a good round for F4Q. Four players survive, and they have Kellogg's is the one that's leading the charge. In a way, the fact that he hasn't got much to deal with, but what Zumba might not know is he has a teammate with him. The hairdo kind of gave him away there, unfortunately. Saw a little, little something, something poking up above oh. Kellogg's. Goes in for another, and Buddy taken down. Hunter's Fury trying to find Esperanza, and now they know exactly where he is. Mixwell gets blind. Some Bunny has a judge. No way. Oh, you're nasty. <laughs> Absolutely nasty. I also like the the fake smoke as well. It's just going to make things so much worse for him as he goes peeking through. Kellogg's another entry, but the trade's coming back thick and fast. It's oh, everything, and Kellogg's is on this round. Turns into a two versus together. 5k on 30 oh. HP. Surely not about to swing into that. Now it's a one versus two, and this becomes so much more winnable, especially because as they get this plant in, Kellogg's has his blade storm. Oh, they might not even be needed. The flash confirms exactly where Bunny is. And nade in hand, though, Tom. This could do a lot for Bunny. If he can land the nade in the right place on either player, that is a guaranteed kill in the Oh, he's low. Into the spots, the slow's gonna hold them back. It's not gonna connect with the knives, but then luckily he's got a rifle to play with as well. And actually, we don't see Athena peek off the turret. Maybe they won't expect him they to be know. here because I don't think he was spotted on the cross. Oh, it's such a good play by Athena, but they don't uh, push afterwards. So of course he comes out to mid. He's trying to hunt them down. That's a break as they push into the A site. That's where all the attention goes towards oh, on F4Q. Okay. The wall breaks and up comes Kellogg's behind. They're, they've won the round already. Oh! Okay. okay, okay, that's beautiful. Oh. But then the flank comes in. It is the safety net, the signal bit. So I, I almost worry that if they just let this site go for free, it's, it's going to be too easy for G2. Yeah, it, it may well be. I mean, that lockdown, I think, has been online since round four or yeah. so. And M4Q have not had the opportunity because retakes haven't really existed, bar that one that we saw at a 5K, a 10 to 1 before, and the flank came through. Now, on this one, they're going to throw everything down. they've got on it. There's a cosmic <laughs> divide to work with, but as soon as they try to get into position, there are four players here to crunch in. Mixwell leading the charge on that, and this is looking disgusting. M4Q... Not really having a chance, surely oh. Nuki is still with a res to play okay. with, he goes down, and now Kellogg's needs to do it all. Maybe a little bit too much bravado out of G2, and an opportunity for F4Q oh. to take it, but once again, the safety net of Kellogg's comes into play, 9 to... Split into the A site, oh, two so. players waiting, oh. there's the pull coming into play, Mixwell able to take it for free, door coming down. It's going to be destroyed. Oh, no, it's oh, not. They're no. coming back. Evolva catches them. And look at the deep push that's come out of Nukia with mid being held by Kellogg's as well. They've got this one crunched down on as F4Q continue forward with a man disadvantage. And Nukia, he did this in the attack pistol. And from the same pis position, rather, he's just died to the spike, not give any ultimate yeah. orbs over. And they'll have a purchase oh, in the next coming. round no matter what. Oh, they're all coming. And they've no idea that Nukia is this close already. He's going to be able to shut them down for a quick dump. Another kill coming in for Kellogg's. The round's already lost, but it's about oh. damage, and there is plenty done. F4Q win the round. But there's two players there. Mixwell primed and ready with the flash. The lined up his teammate. Unfortunately, Kellogg's now kind of stuck. They know that he's here. He's going to go down to the... Oh, well, he tries to pick up the rifle, but 10 seconds left. Plant needs to come in, and it will. No denial of that out of G2. F4Q look like they're about to get around on the board. Evova rezzed up. Could make a difference, but the flank that's on its way surely we'll close this round out and there it is uh, and they and wait for it tom so they got 19 health and there it is <laughs> to the next round though and considering g2 only had Just like, okay we're gonna waste your time now it doesn't matter because bunny is diving in yet again this man is a judge main Making it work, uh -oh. but Evolva somehow has come out with a double. The Seeker's oh, going for a kill, but Bunny's down below, so he won't be able to surprise them. The nade up above, actually dealing a little bit of damage, but it's not slowing them too much. They're pursuing Bunny, knowing now that he's down below with a Judge, they'll be much more cautious in taking that fight. Evolva just holds for it. And themselves to 12. One round needed for them to eliminate them. Yeah, peeking over the top, he has an angle over the top of the smoke as well, and it's almost too easy on the free kill, <laughs> jumping across, a little bit risky, and right, it's done, no chance, Avova's actually pushing into mid as well, they're looking to try and shut this down, but he's caught, they got to be careful, look at Kellogg's, 
He is sending it, man. These guys, they know that they've won the game. They are coming in. Or will be broken, and then they'll push in. There is zero at all. That smoke is about to fade. And when it does, they'll be ready to take the duel. 5K trying to find opportunities elsewhere. Zumba manages to evade them completely, but he's only good for the one. That will be it. Done. G2, 13.